Here you can see a daddy long legs, or sometimes called harvestmen. You may have heard the myth that daddy long legs are the most poisonous or venomous spider if only they had the jaws that were powerful enough to pierce your skin. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's complete BS. Here you can see one eating, very happy. And daddy long legs are actually not at all spiders. Daddy long legs instead belong to an order called Opilionis. They're still arachnids, so they're still related to spiders. They still have eight legs and all that jazz. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Nancy. I'm an entomologist, which means that I study insects, and I live in Ecuador where I conduct ecological tours focused on entomology and insects, so I can bring the bug world to you. So as you can see, ours in the tropics look a little bit different than what you might find in North America or in Europe. Many in North America or in Europe are just scavengers and are just gonna eat whatever they possibly can. Some of the ones like this one actually capture their prey with modified mouth parts. These mouth parts are called pedipalps and they are modified and have little spikes on them. They don't have any venom but they have, you know, they can extend and they have these little spikes on them so that they can grab small prey and then eat it. As you can see, that's what this one is doing. Another interesting thing about daddy long legs is that they're exactly what their name might suggest. Many of the ones that are here in the tropics are daddies. They take care of the eggs. Females will choose a male to mate with and in some species, the more eggs that he has from different females, the more attractive he is to a female looking to mate. So basically she walks over and she's like, hey, that guy is really good at taking care of kids. Maybe he wants some more. <laughs> and she will pick the male based on how many clutches of eggs he is guarding. Another interesting thing about daddy long legs or harvestmen is that they glow under UV light. This is what you're seeing here. This is not their natural coloration. Their natural coloration is yellow and their eggs are a pale yellow. We don't have a good reason for why we think that they glow under UV light, but one of the hypotheses is that it's warning things that can see UV, like other insects, other arthropods, birds, for example, and they're warning these other animals that they're toxic. While I talked about before they don't have venom, many of them can produce a really stinky chemical or a combination of chemicals that just makes them smelly and taste bad. And others, they have their defense where they can just drop a leg and the leg will continue to wiggle and that will allow the daddy long legs to escape. This is very similar to what you might find in geckos or in other lizards that can drop their tail and then run away.